Hermione on the football pitch after a match because it's quiet. No one about. That's how Fox and the Ghost like it. It's only when all of us are together that I can really believe it happened. That we really do make not just one, but two impossible dreams come true. We would like to tell you about a book called The Fox and the Ghost King by Michael Morpurgo. Before we started the read it, we researched who was King Richard III, how was he found in 2012, what happened to Leicester City FC in the 2015-16 football season. By doing this research, we had a good understanding of what happened in the story. I really enjoyed when King Richard III said, A horse, a horse, my king jumped for a horse. I thought it was a funny thing for a king to say. This is a line from William Shakespeare's play, Richard III. During the Battle of Bosworth, King Richard is knocked off his horse, and he is so desperate to get back into the battle that he cries out, A horse, a horse, my king jumped for a horse. But he is killed in the battle, and this leads to the, to the start of the Tudor era of English history. In the story, we meet a family of foxes who are Leicester City fans. It is the young fox that talks to us. He tells us all the foxes in the world support Leicester City. He also talks a lot about food and all the delicious snacks on their way to matches. Pizza crust, chips, bourbon and fish and his favourite snack, tomato sauce and chewy Chinese. I definitely recommend The Fox and the Ghost King because it is so nice and I learned so much from it. For example, did you know William Shakespeare wrote a play called Richard III and this play took Richard III's reputation and made a villain out of him for history. But in the story, our fox friend comes to the conclusion that Shakespeare was partly wrong. He said Richard, Richard III was not as bad as Shakespeare made him out to be. For the foxes, he is a king of his word who kept his promise. I thought the fox and the ghost king was interesting and I enjoyed it very much. My favourite sentence is, because I'm a Star Wars fan, it is a Yoda when it goes over the moon I was. The young, the young fox says this to describe how excited he was to go to a Leicester City match for the first time. And another good thing about this book, it was short but I didn't like the Shakespeare bit. King Richard might have not been the best king ever, but in my opinion wasn't as bad as Henry VIII. Richard's reputation was damaged by William Shakespeare's description of him in his play. Before we read this book, we did some research about King Richard III. It was very interesting. My opinion is that there are different teams in this book. Some parts are funny, some parts are silly. Some of my favourite parts of the book were describing the Chelsea manager as such a cocky looking fellow, and when the Danny Fox described the King's voice as hoity toity. The author of Michael Moore Purple and the illustrator of Michael Foreman. King Richard III was a king of England from 1483 until 1485. He was a part of House of York during the Wars of the Roses. This was a long civil war between the House of York and the House of Lancaster. They fought each other for the throne of England. Michael Mopargo's notes tell us that history in the United Kingdom was never more horrible than the long civil war in the 15th century, which came to be called the Wars of the Roses. Jamie's favorite line in the story was he was such a poly, cocky looking fellow. The young fox is explaining that he loves going to Leicester City matches with his dad, but he doesn't like how they lose all the time. They especially don't like the like Chelsea and their manager who is a cocky looking fellow. The foxes were used to seeing Leicester lose. One night they heard a voice in the ground. They found out it was King Richard the third and they made a deal with him. The daddy fox said I will get you out if you make Leicester City win every match. Then the foxes dug deep towards the king so the archaeologists would find him the next day. And in return, the king made Leicester City win the Premier League. At the start of the 2015-16 season, not many people would have predicted that Leicester City would have won the Premier League. They started the season as a team most likely to be relegated. But a combination of the main man Claudio Ranieri, the Foxes of Leicester, and the binding of King Richard III meant that Leicester City were crowned champions. 
The thing about the foxes is, I love their character. My favorite part is when they made the promise to King Richard III. They are, the foxes are my favorite because they make you happy when you are sad. I also love them because they are funny as well. The foxes are always in the story like they are the heart of the story. The foxes run around the city every night looking for food. Sometimes they get pizza for football night. Pizza for foxes forever.